You're listening to the Third Watch Update for this December 30th, 2016. Get ready. This is a long word. Bomb, bow, genesis. Apparently that's what Bombo Genesis looks like from the satellite images. Spell that word, Bombo Genesis. Here's another image of that. Meteorologists really baffled me because this is a word I've never heard of before, but apparently this is what we're watching. Remember, we are not a news channel. We put all this information below because, you know, the whole thing about the media They want us to call us fake. I never said I was real. This is just a figment of your imagination. Anyway, so, Bombo Genesis. I think I have a pretty good idea what it is. I'm not sure. That's why I put all this information below. You can verify it for yourself. You have a mind. You can think for yourself. I'm pretty sure that most people, they can decide what they think is news and not news and fake and what's real and what's not real. And if you think I'm fake, I'm sorry if I'm fake. I apologize if I was ever fake. I didn't mean to be fake. I wasn't trying to be fake. Although I would like to have a nip and tuck job and maybe some Botox, but I actually think being natural is good. So if I was ever fake, I apologize. Okay. I wasn't trying to be fake. I wasn't trying to be insincere, disingenuous. I just try to figure out this stuff myself. And um, I'm back to square one because I I took a little time off and I'm like completely, I I drew a complete blank. I think it had something to do with surgery because last time I had surgery, I don't remember much. But I do remember a few things and that's all that matters and that's as long as you remember your boyfriend's name. And I do. He's really nice. So anyway, I'm trying to get some extra sleep. And I was up in the middle of the night. I actually went to bed at a normal time for the first time. And I still woke up like my body clock wakes me up on Thursday to do this update. It's like natural. It's normal. So even if I wanted to stop doing it, it's like my body clock just turns it on, shuts it off. I'm ready to go to sleep. But this Bombo Genesis, this has me like wondering what, where do we come up with these definitions? As I stated earlier, we didn't have enough of essays in high school and college. So I started write, writing essays. It's like a, you know, I just like to write, you know, just for fun. So I guess this is what we do for fun. But figuring out words like Bombo Genesis, they didn't have that in the Webster's Dictionary when I was in high school. I don't know about you, but (laughs) this is a new word. Just like everything else that is so different about everything in life, by today's standards, everything's just so wild. It's not, there's nothing normal. I mean, you don't, you used to be able to predict a little bit from day to day, you know, your schedule was pretty consistent, but nowadays people are always just upset just overly cautious. You can't trust anybody. Who can live in a world like that? Because it's hard to communicate to people like that. And we're always guarded. And your mama's funny looking. And your daddy, he's a he's a broke. <laughs> Doesn't pay the bills. Anyway. So that's life. I, I don't know. Is this what we've gotten used to? Because I don't know. I think the reason why people get upset is because they don't want to get used to Daddy not paying the bill, you know. Papa home bringing home the bacon, you know. You know, and I, I know there's a lot of girls that are single parents. I'm not, okay. Couldn't have kids. Couldn't be that lucky. But I have plenty of nieces and nephews, and I'm very grateful for that. I only see them from time to time, and I miss them terribly. And they're just funny kids. They're, they crack me up. And they actually, I actually learn more from the kids, and I learn from these videos. I I compiled all these videos together. We've been hearing this regurgitated a long time. I'm not trying to make light of it, but when all you hear is World War II apocalyptic events, it just kind of does, it kind of like takes that flicker out of your light, kind of gets you to that place of feeling depressed constantly. That is not my idea. I want to take approach to current events in a way today that I have to find some kind of calm, comic relief. I don't think that anybody, and that, that doesn't take away from the sincerity 
Please understand. But you can only hear so much apocalyptic news, too. And while we might be able to present topics on current events, and I can journal about stuff, I could do other things with my time other than talking about apocalyptic events, like how to build a fallout shelter, because I remember when my mom was little, she was telling me how my grandma would make everybody round up in, into the basement and the Russians were coming. Isn't that strange how things just haven't changed much? Yes, and that was when the Democrats were in charge. I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying. I know there's a lot of people say it's not this left-right paradigm, but it was funny, and it is kind of ironic that the Russians are coming again. And that was what my mom used to tell me. We used to crack up at the stories. I apologize if I'm, I'm again, I'm, I don't want to make light of it because I realize there's some serious things, but actually... This isn't the first time you heard the Russians were coming and just go to the fallout shelter. Believe me, I know there's an appropriate time. You should still plan and prepare, okay? I don't want to go into crisis as always upset because I don't think that's a good way to operate your life. I don't think that's really going to be helpful. And you can only be so stressed out, okay? I mean, it's not as if Christmas wasn't stressful enough. But I didn't go to Black Friday, so I'll have to tell you, I made a, I've made a personal promise to myself I would not allow myself or subject myself to that after I had gone to Black Friday one Christmas ago oh, in uh, Long Island, New York, when I got rolled over with a, a shopping cart. I could not believe it was true. Everything that they talked about Black Friday was, in fact, true. I, It's not as if I was going out to test the market or anything or trying to do a sample test. I literally did not really think about it. I just kind of overlooked the fact. Okay, so you're wondering, what does this have to do with media? It has nothing to do with media. Exactly why I'm just babbling. Because I would rather just be fake and phony and just tell you a bunch of stories and just kind of go off on something that is totally irrelevant. I never said we're ever a news channel. I just do this because this is what <laughs> this is something to eat up some time. And, and not, like I like don't like to go to bed or something. Or I like to stay up here and fuss and worry about things. And I got to the point where um, I can only be so upset. And I have to tell you, there are some reason, good reasons, valid reasons to be upset. But I have to take a different approach because see. As you get older, you know, and I, I think your blood pressure and all those things and, you know, some people have a heart condition. They don't want to overly upset themselves. So I take this different approach. I realize that a lot of people are probably going to approach this hard news topics and really hit it hard. And, and there's a time to be serious. And there are some serious things in front of us. But it's almost anecdotal. And it's, I, I, I'm sure you can appreciate this after, if you've watched as much news stories on YouTube, to mainstream news, to alternative news, and you come to the point that I'm at that you realize that, you know what, I'm not going to get that upset. But I will say this as um, a disclaimer. You will probably see in your time a transgender nun. And I will not be a nun. I, I really, I laugh at this because it's true. But the day is coming when there will be transgender nuns. I, I, I'm sure there probably are, but we just haven't heard about it. So I kind of take a, this approach. As crazy as times are, keep your sense of humor about yourself. That doesn't dismiss or diminish the importance of being prepared, okay? But a lot of times, all this panic and worry, what ends up happening is we get very upset and we're overlooking how to go through life a little bit more graceful. I have encountered more um, conflicts, and I and the only way, and there's only way you can diffuse a good conflict, and, and believe me, there's maybe valid reasons to be in conflict, but there's a way to approach things without being upset, angry. That doesn't mean that you don't you're not upset and angry. Understand me on this, but. One of the things about problem solving is sometimes problems have a way of working themselves out. And while you're, you're upset and valid about, you know, you have real concerns, give everything its time and let time decide. Don't be the one to take control of the situation and get into an argument where you end up getting into trouble. And it, I've just found this out. This is wisdom that I've learned over my lifetime. Just do what you have to do, you know. Um, a lot of times people want to argue, and there's always a, 
a place and a time for a good debate, but not when the officer is pulling you over and telling you to drop your blunt. Got it? Just behave. Try, just do your best because we're coming into that new year and everybody should be really thinking about staying home. That This Arctic freeze that's coming, you should be just laying low is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm just giving you some hope. I'm just giving you some hope and advice. Hope because if you stay home on New Year's Day, okay, first of all, you're not going to fight traffic. And if you're planning to go to New York City, well, you'll save a few dollars. Um, and besides, you're probably going to have to take the LI down to Times Square and you'll be there all day and you won't be able to find anywhere to go to the bathroom because there's no such thing as a bathroom in Times Square <laughs> in a crowd of, I don't know, 400,000 people, whatever. I, that never made sense to me. I mean, I like going down to Manhattan on the train when I was up there from time to time. But I, I just can't get in the idea of going down there and freezing and not having a place to go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? I'm just practical. I just think like this. But thinking about the new year, I, I think about these things. I think about why can't we just stay home and have a good cup of coffee? And co I, I don't know. Have a cup of coffee? I mean, I know that sounds really... I'm, I know a lot of people are going out. And I, I have no... I have no qualms on qualms on that. There's everybody's thinking about that on the New Year's, but I don't know. There's been this tradition that we always passed out, and I, we'll always stay up any other time. But for some reason, we're passing up before New Year's in the balls. Maybe it's staring at the TV or something. I don't know. I say this because I realize that a lot of people are asking some valid questions, and how do you have fun when all this stuff is out there? You you have to kind of compartmentalize some of it. And that doesn't make it not important, okay? doesn't make uh, having a social media page not important. And I'm not trying to diminish it, but we're not there to be take this. To, I don't take this stuff that serious. I don't. I don't make a living doing it. I don't monetize the page. I don't have a news channel, I, although we talk about topics that are serious, and I have. But in this whole experience, I've realized that I, there's not a lot I can do. I can talk about it and, and try to approach it the best I can. But even that, I don't always have the answer for that. I don't, I just know that the best way is to be the best communicator I can and be sensitive to all these things. At the same time, find a silver lining or some comic relief. Although some have accused us of waiting for Jesus to come, and that's true. And they said, what, are you afraid? I said, yes. I am afraid. I would rather be with Jesus, but that doesn't mean I want. That doesn't mean I'm 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 hung up on all these other things. I I prefer to not go through all this stuff. Yes, does that make me win? I guess. I mean, I hear a lot of people throwing each other on the bus. It's unnecessary, you know. I there's possibilities that some of that was doctor too like everything else so I mean you base everything on faith and you trust God in in, in a lot of areas and you're hoping that things aren't going to be as bad as they are but they are and I understand that I don't try to pretend that these issues aren't important and I don't try to overlook or dismiss it I've actually tried my best to try the best to understand it and and I've lived through a lot of things in my life that I, I don't have to constantly explain to people. I don't have to explain myself. I'm at the point where the, the days of explaining myself are over. You know, I, I'm at the point where wisdom matters and you can apply that in all situations. And this whole thing about fake news is just, I mean, if I was fake, I guess I am. I don't know. I just want people to be wise, pay attention to these things while I, I want to consume myself with it because it doesn't help. I do think there are important things that do matter, and we try to do the best we can. While we're not fake news or news or whatever, we do try to watch. Thank you for listening. You can also hear me at 103.3 FM and 1370 AM, Charlotte, North Carolina.
I want to wish everybody a very happy and safe new year. Make sure to have a designated driver or stay home. It's going to be really cold out from what I understand. But thank you for listening and supporting us at the Moonlight Lounge and supporting all the other things that we do when it comes to domestic violence awareness, to looking out for each other in Neighborhood Crime Watch. We really appreciate your reaching out to us or reaching out to those agencies, especially those people in need. We have a special episode of Cross Training for those for the New Year's tradition, of course, getting fit. But we also have a very special thing we do with my nephew who was paralyzed in a car accident last year. With your support, please go to the GoFundMe site to help support Jordan. God bless you and Happy New Year. Thank you.